Hello guys, welcome back. It's time for episode three. And cue dramatic music. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just kidding, but it is uh, actually time for episode three. And uh, I've just been cruising through our new development, and I saw like you know the cutest little ice cream shop, and just kind of caught my eye. So, and people they've been walking over and just kind of you know going in and out. So, much fun. Anyway, this is uh, the part that has a uh, you know our new little our little one-way roads here. And uh, I, I was staring at traffic, um, just kind of going up and down. And I thought that uh, this part right here, we should actually do a little bit of an on and off ramp, just to kind of encourage people to use this to go, you know, into work if they need to. Because I was looking at this, and really, like, you know, there's a way to get on over here, a way to get on over here, but there's no real, like, right here we need an intersection. Because this one only intersects the um, one going southbound. So, like, northbound traffic, you know, needs the way to get on and off. So let's just um, do that really quickly is the first thing I want to do. And so many of you have been saying that I should be trying to draw my roads uh, without the toggle snap on, so I think I'm going to try that right now for the first time. Not for the first time, but I just don't really do it that often, you know? Okay, so I want to have this kind of meet this intersection. Oh, this is so much smoother. Alright, so I can't get it in one go. I don't want to go this way, because it doesn't really... Like, I don't want to have two intersections like that, you know? And then the angle of this, it's too, too close to a 90 degree. So let's try this. Oh, that is so much nicer. <clears throat> uh, that's actually really smooth in terms of how to draw the roads. Well, thanks, guys. Good tip. I'm actually going gonna to use this more often, I think. This poor little guy. He's like, I'm not moving. I don't care how many expressways they build. <laughs> All right, so we've got the way out, and I just want the way in now. And we'll yeah, just kind of use a previous intersection, and mm, maybe I don't want them to actually cross, because then get traffic crossing over itself. All right, that's okay, because there's no... You can kind of see we came in at an angle. There's no traffic light. The traffic should should just merge kind of smoothly through this. And because there's two lanes of um, of, uh, of turning, you can kind of see this in terms of this. They should hopefully utilize both lanes to enter. That's nice. I like that. Okay, cool. And then so for the rest of the episode... So let's just pause this really quick. Just because I don't really have all the uh, services in place, and I don't really want this to run and have everyone just kind of start complaining to me while I'm just talking about stuff. Okay, so what I want to do is, um, I did say I want to do a bus line, but for that I want like a little bit of a, um, I don't know, kind of like a fake little bus station. And when I say station, I don't mean like just uh, this guy on its own. I want to build some like one-way roads and little kind of like on and off like, uh, loading areas in terms of passengers, so it looks like a proper bus terminal instead of just a little little station. And then maybe we'll eventually find a way to connect that with the um, with the rails, and it can be kind of like our transportation kind of super hub. And I'm I'm thinking of doing that probably in this quadrant. That way we can kind of utilize the rail coming in. And I think in the grand scheme, what I do want to do is I'm going to keep this part of town not overly high density and then when we unlock more tiles once we kind of build up the coast and stuff when we kind of build a downtown core uh, we'll do that a little bit closer to those bridges more upstream and that'll be all like condos and high rises and highways and, and like, that'll be like you know metro lines and stuff so it'll be a lot more more of that style of building over here we'll kind of keep it uh, you know, like small to medium style city living and I had such a good suggestion, and I'm, I'm totally going to do this. And the uh, second I read it, I was like, oh my goodness, this is so smart. So you guys let me know what you think. Suggestion comes courtesy of uh, Thomas Langford. He said that we should do kind of a series of little kind of country-style cities. 
like a little you know country road coming up and then a few buildings here and there like one little main street and then they could each be self-powered with like a wind turbine and there could be some farming or small um like specialty industry and they could just be like little itty bitty suburbs or small cities that kind of connect to our, our our pretty much our region so that's like that's definitely an awesome idea so we could kind of do those if you think of the way the highway goes we'll draw those up oh geez i want this view we'll kind of go that way for our smaller towns and then we'll go this way for the bigger stuff and then for like our rich kind of nice little suburbs we'll take over these islands cool that's actually a fun little plan so first things first let's just kind of dive into building that um i guess that little bus stop oh actually you know what i lied i do want to put in um rest of our services as you can see we don't have like death care or uh Anything like that in. Okay. So I will put this, I think, right here, actually. And um, we're going to need one up here eventually. Uh, you know, let's just go ahead and drop it. I'm just going to make sure there's enough room that I can still bring the road through. Yeah, that's okay. Because people, they do die at work, right? I've said that before. So just make sure you've got, like, citywide coverage, just in terms of the, uh, of the graveyards. And then, the, you know, obviously the hearses that come out, you don't want them all to come from one location, because <clears throat> hypothetically, you could just run into a little bit of a traffic headache. Oh, and I, I almost forgot. Guys, so if you stay till the end of the episode, um, I've got a special little surprise. So for you long-term viewers, um, you'll kind of see something special for you. And uh, I'll talk more about that in the end. I don't want to ruin the surprise. Don't let me get on a tangent. So just don't forget. Stick to the end. You'll see. Okay. So going back to services. Just make sure we have enough health care. I don't think the one clinic is going to be enough anymore. So we'll definitely do another one down here. Oh, that would be so nice to get under the underpass right there. Mm, that's okay. a nice spot too and again a little bit closer to that intersection so fire coverage for sure we need more of that because <clears throat> the worst thing you can have happen <clears throat> is you have a city like this where you only have the one fire station and again like the industrial zone is going to burn down a little bit faster or they have more of a fire risk you can kind of see just in terms of even how the coverage goes even though there's the, uh, the station here. Um, so if all your fire trucks are responding to a fire here, and then say like your clinic or something important is on fire and it and it burns down, I mean, that like really sucks. So make sure you, you know, got good coverage. Um, just in case they need backup at the industrial park, we'll put this right here. And then eventually we'll put like one large one over here and then one large one up there. One police station I think is okay for the moment. You can see crime is like essentially non-existent. Schools, definitely want to put one of these guys in. And we for sure will need a high school. This we can just put central. It actually has a very big uh, coverage zone. All right, cool. And there goes all our money. So I'm going to use the, um, like, I'll toggle this on and off. I'm just really, I'm familiar with doing um, toggling on, and it does kind of help keep roads a bit straight. But when I'm doing these kind of things, I think I'm going to turn it off just to kind of give myself that extra little bit. Oh, you know what? I don't want. I'm sorry. You can't live there. And no one will live on that square. All right, so let's just do a little bit more roads in and around here. That way we can just kind of fill in the center space a bit more. 
realistically our demand is is pretty much just for um for industrial, so I'm not really expecting people to move in right away. This is just for for the future. Now, this one's a one-way, so maybe we should continue that. <clears throat> I know what we're going to do. We're going to make it connect over to here. Oops. Oh, there's a steep slope. Oh, I think that building was throwing everything off there. I understand. Yeah, see, it's that little bit right there. Maybe if we come in... Hmm, we go out. Oh, that's it, that's it. Yep. Oh, no! Why is that still so... Oh, sugars. Alright, it's all play by your game. Or by your rules game. Looks like I'm going to have to connect it over to... Oh, you silly, silly snake. Alright, so I guess we're going to be a little bit more dramatic and try like this. Now, will that give me the same... I think that looks slightly smoother. So perhaps now we can just come right in. Oh, yeah. Well, that wasn't so bad in the grand scheme. That's pretty easy. So this way, we're taking advantage of the fact that there is already a traffic light and an intersection here. And you can kind of see um, people if they want to. They, oh, that's really interesting. Guys, I've never actually noticed this before. Look, you can only go left or right. You can't actually go straight. My intention here was to get people to use this if they wanted to. To go onto this highway. As more, uh, more of like a continuation. And now that we just learned that, let's do something different. So that's, that's pretty cool. I'm glad we actually just figured that out. So it just means we're going to go like this now. <clears throat> now, just in terms of merging lanes, you can see no traffic light. And now if you want to go straight and continue on, you've got a way to do it. Basically coming through here. A little bit of a slowdown, yes, but... And still kind of make it back to the theoretical highway. So again, if you're just moving around town a little bit faster, you know. And it does look kind of cool, I think. Or like very much so cool. Okay, now we can keep this one. And like I'll do this just so I don't forget. But we'll keep this guy like a little bit kind of unzoned and separate. And it'll be like, I want to say like the on-ramp to the highway in air quotes, but think of it as like that kind of idea. And we'll do another type of tree. But you know me, I just, I love trees. I'm, I'm apparently a, an environmentalist or something, you know? Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm not trying to make a joke about that, guys. Don't laugh. This is serious stuff. Planting trees, they save lives. So uh, we're improving the quality of life in our city. Awesome. Okay, I, honestly, I just love that so much. And then from a distance, look how cool it just looks. Okay. So we do need some roads that we can zone off of. So let's continue this. I did not mean to do that. There we go. We'll just zone as we go. And if possible, I want to go like this and under. It does look very possible to do. I don't want that curve to be so steep. So maybe we'll come in. Oh, we're getting there. You know what? This might be one of those moments. Let's do it.
Well, how about that? That honestly is not the worst, but I do want to change it because it just kind of looks a little bit off. Hmm, same kind of idea. That's okay. I think once it's zoned, I won't really remember or notice it, so that's alright. Now yeah, that's fine like that. <clears throat> now, I think just to discourage people from using this as a whole, you know, a way to get all the way over to here, and instead I want them to use this, I'm going to change this guy right here to a one-way going in. And we're out of money. Alright, so I'm just run this for two seconds. Give me 100 or 200 creds, please. Okay, that should be maybe enough. So we're going to switch this over to um, one way. And we're just going to change the direction. That way, you know, coming in, it just forces you to go out and over. And the beauty of that is if you go this way, it's a bit of a wider road to push you back up to the highway. And if you go this way, it just kind of pushes you back to a little bit of a bigger bigger street. Or are theoretically onto our little highway thing too. Alright, so let's go shed some attention over to our industrial zone. We are going to have to run the clock though, because I'm like way out of money. And let's go... Oops, snap tool back on. Yes, I know we're out of money. So I'm just going to go up a little bit and then just over. And like literally we're just going to tack on just a few more uh, industrial buildings. Like even just the start is going, I'm going to put these on. Look at that. Right away, no delay. They're coming on in. All right, should we get fancy and, oh, I'm gonna have to relocate these, won't I? Hmm, <laughs> this cost associated. Okay, so I think it's $1,500 to move them. So let's just save up 3,000 here and then we'll, we'll pause it. That was 1,200. Now, I mean, we are going to lose some production, I think, if I... Oh, actually, we'll keep it at 7. <clears throat> I'm just keeping an eye on the uh, noise pollution boundary there. Okay, so what we can do... This is going to be a little bit expensive, but I think it's a better way to manage the traffic, just in the long run. Oh. I'm gonna put some pipes in. So I'm gonna come down like this, and I'm gonna have the one way come up. And luckily, we are making quite a bit of money now. So we can build our budget. Or our stockpiles back up because we keep spending all of our money. All right, now should I go straight with that? Is that kind of straight? Yeah, that's good. I like it. And I think we should do just a little bit of that and some of this. We'll get rid of that guy, and we'll just zone all of this right up. Fantastic. Yeah, we'll put these in too. Okay, so that seems to be enough for our industrial demand. You can kind of see that starting to shrink. And more and more people keep moving in. This is fantastic. This area is slowly getting populated. Alright, so let's finish um, this little spot over here. Oh, good gravy. We don't want factories over there. That's silly of me. Okay, so that is that. And... Oh, I don't really want to destroy these commercial 
buildings. So we'll come in right beside them, that's a great idea. And the reason why I'm not going at a straight angle here is because I don't want this to seem like a really strange turn to make. Unfortunately, did destroy that building that I was trying to save that the whole time. But these things happen. Rockin! I think once we meet a little bit more of the commercial demand, people will start coming in. And if I place one more park in the area, I... Oh, we shouldn't have any parks in the area. All right, well, let's just place the city's first park. All right, so I guess we're going to do... Hmm. Yeah, let's do a small park, because they actually are, like, super big. And if we can find a nice snap point in and around here... Oh, there it is. That'll just look really nice, and that's pretty central. And I want to throw in a basketball court just over here. Like, don't underestimate the leisure. Because people, they just love to relax, you know? Who doesn't after a long, hard day of work? Alright, things are really starting to come together. Are we having a bit of a power problem? Oh my goodness, we are. Alright, so let's throw in a few of these guys over at the city limits. Silly me. Oh, actually, that's a nice little pocket over here, eh? 12, 14, 7... All right, let's, oh, 15, oh, hello, 16, hi there, what did we go up to, 20? Oh, 20 is our max, that's actually, that's, oh, 17, oh, can I get it? No, wow, I can, oh, I don't know why this stuff, I get so excited over such little things, I don't know why. Okay, the other one, I'll, I can probably get 16, so we'll, we'll throw in a couple of these. Now, when you're... Uh, making a power grid like this that's kind of separate from the other one, you'll see how it shows we have the available electricity. Don't let that confuse you. You can kind of see how people are still... We haven't connected this one to over here yet, right? So don't forget to do it, and don't assume that it's going to connect itself. I think I'm stuck on 15. Oh, 16. And then we can always relocate those. It's just temporary. But now you can see we've got a nice little bump. Oh god, we have a fire. Oh, do we ever? Oh good, fire truck just arrived. Alright, so let's check out the info views. Let's see how everything is going. And then let's move on over to our transportation hub. Okay, so we're okay for electricity. This we will have to do kind of soon. I think we're okay for the moment, though. So, healthcare is good. Death care is fantastic. Levels, we're getting there actually with a few of them. Wind doesn't really matter. Traffic, you can kind of see no biggies just yet. And then red just shows where the um, like the area gets like high traffic, so it's not necessarily you have a backlog or anything there. It just means you have like a lot of vehicles going through the area. So you can see like whenever a lot of cars do hit this intersection at once, it goes red. But no one's really being backed up in the grand scheme. So for me, this is like you know I'd give this a passing grade. And pollution, ugh. but the good news is nice boundary away from our people, so that's good. Noise pollution is probably not going to be the best, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. But you can kind of see how the park, you see how it just keeps throwing those boundaries off? So we'll put a few more parks in, and we'll kind of dot the area of the trees, because it does make more of an impact than you think. And everything else we kind of, well, we've seen these before, we remember them. Prime is